360 more Ford employees will not be reporting to work today as the company continues to lay off people. And with the United Auto Workers strike now in its fifth week, UAW President Sean Fain is taking heat after turning down Ford's latest offer. Fox News' Erica Francis is live this morning and has the latest. Erica. Hey, good morning to the both of you. Yeah, we are now approaching 40 days. You can see we are standing in front of all of these picketing workers. This, of course, at the Ford Assembly Plant here in Wayne. Let me step out of the way so you can get a better picture of what we're seeing here. Meantime, the UAW considering a number of offers from the automakers, but still no deal, and it's having a lot of ripple effects. The latest round of layoffs includes workers at a transmission plant near Cincinnati, along with a handful of workers at the components plant in Ypsilanti. These layoffs of course, a consequence of the ongoing strike. The big three all offering raises of more than 20% now, putting auto workers well above the median income rate in the United States. So what's the holdup? A lot of people are asking this question, and why not sign a deal right now? We asked one industry insider what they're waiting for. Listen. There's no question that uh, over the last couple of decades, their incomes have flatlined when you inflation adjust it. And meanwhile, management has made out spectacularly well. So I, as I've argued all along, it, it is time to pay these workers a whole lot more. Uh, it, but I think they've got that in the contract right now. That's why I'd like to see them wrap it up. week, and that's before taxes. Some believe UAW President Sean Fain should do the same and accept a pay cut and live on the same $500 per week that he's asking his members to accept. So we took that scenario to the UAW, who wrote back, quote, as UAW President, Fain will be paid the salary that UAW members vote on and set in the Constitution, which, by the way, is less than 1% of that of his counterparts at the big three, end quote. So, of course, this is a very fluid situation. Things are changing by the day, but unfortunately, we are uh, coming up on 40 days. Still no end in sight for this strike, of course.